Green. Hey, we're 10 days away from opening day at the ballpark in Arlington. It's here, folks. I mean, tomorrow's the first day of spring. The Rangers will take on the Houston Astros in the opener. Ooh, the Astros. Mm. My team. Uh, Sean Giggy found one diehard fan, though, who would not miss it for the world. Uh, but first, she set out to accomplish something that she's dreamed of doing for a long time. Here's today's Giggy Bites. Eighty-seven-year-old Elaine Phelps is not a meteorologist. Not really. <laughs> but she already knows the forecast. You know, there are only two seasons, baseball season and waiting for baseball season. Every time winter blows through, so does baseball hibernation. And then I just exist until spring training. <laughs> and it's the Texas Rangers that bring her back to life. Although Elaine's never traveled to spring training, she's never missed a game. Well, what else have I got to do besides watch baseball, you know? <laughs> However, after retiring at 82, she realized life with baseball wouldn't last forever. And you're not too old to have a bucket list, apparently. So I just started saying, well, I'd like to do this. Since making her bucket list, Elaine has been to Big Bend, Carlsbad Caverns, and the Grand Canyon. Mm -hmm. But near the top, a trip to Arizona to see the Rangers at spring training. Chugging around the bases. Which she checked off just last week. Along with her daughter and niece, at the age of 87, Elaine finally watched her Texas Rangers at spring training. Way to go! Way to go! She got her name on the Jumbotron, a new shirt, and the Rangers even surprised her with a baseball signed by Adrian Beltre. All right. All right. That made me feel special. Yes, it did make me feel special because I didn't know all that was coming. In fact, only one thing could top this, a Rangers World Series. I can only hope. <laughs> Certainly, what are you gonna something do? to live for. Yeah, it is. <laughs> John Geek, Channel News Daybreak. See, you're down on the pitcher's mound throwing out a first pitch. Oh, hey. Rangers. I mean, I love that. Okay, first of all, I can't believe she retired at 80, 82. That's a whole nother story. Ooh, right? <laughs> um, but, you know, she's really into it, and I'm proud of her for, like, traveling at age 87 mm -hmm. and still, you know, just living life to the fullest. Good for her. Keeps her young. If yeah. you know someone who has an interesting story, email Sean at geekybites at WFAA.com. He's always coming up with something fabulous. Yeah.